All right, it's been exactly 24 hours. Haven't added any wood, haven't stirred it up, nothing. Let's take a look. All right, she's in a heating cycle. Must have just started, it's 169.7, so let's, let's open her up and see what we got. Hopefully you guys can see that. There's still wood in there and she honestly she'd probably burn for another six hours like that easily. Because I would let that ash or that those coals burn way down. So I'm gonna stir this up and then I'm gonna add a bunch. Look at this. So, yeah, I see there's still some good wood in here. I'm gonna open this up just cause it's hard to get my ass kicked with the smoke. So yeah. Now obviously, depending on how cold it is, it's only it only averaged around 30 degrees for these last 24 hours, so it's not that cold. So Obviously, if it was 20 degrees all day to, uh, you know, even cold or 10. Yeah, it's still good here, too. So I'm not even going to add that much because I want this to burn down pretty much more. I mean, it's starting to get up to the bottom of the panels here, which I don't like. So, but the test was only to see if she would last. Uh, 24 hours if I just left it be and obviously it did so like I said I'm just gonna add enough wood to get us through the night so it burns down a little bit more because otherwise I'm gonna end up cleaning this thing or at least getting the ashes out a lot sooner than I want so but so I'll just put enough wood in there just to last till morning and then that's probably all I really need. Add a couple more just for safety. That's it. That's all I'm going to add. Huh? Screw it. I'm here tomorrow, so I can always let it burn a little bit longer. Perfect. See, so, you now that's typically what I put in there. So it's roughly less than half. So that's that. Nine, okay. If you want to, I don't know if I can see what my settings are. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. So I got 315 hours now. So my delay is one hour, on time five minutes, off time 30 minutes. Max open 75, minimum close 50. Stop dampener. 02 at 6. That's everything else is stock settings. So. Obviously, a 24-hour burn really depends on the kind of wood that you're using. Obviously, like I said, I'm using ash. That's pretty much all I got right there. It does go back further. That's all locust. I got that primarily just for um, the really cold, the really cold months. Um, obviously, you get better. You get, you know, just as good as coals as you do with ash, but it burns. The BTUs are better. A little bit longer burn times, um, so. But yeah, I guess uh, so far it's a success for to me. You know, 24 hours. I mean, I, I do know when this burns down, I'm gonna have a lot more buildup of ash, and if I do stir it up, I could probably get another couple hours in the morning, which which that's probably what I'll do if I'm around. So I, and I should be so. 
I'll be here. I'll just stir it up quick and I'll let it go for probably another two, three hours. Cause I don't, I don't, it doesn't burn much wood during the day if the sun's out. I mean, the garages don't call for heat and the house usually don't either. So, but yeah, no, so it, it actually did better than I thought it would. I thought it was going to build up on the sides or bridge or I didn't think it would go out, you know. I mean, the stove is like a diesel truck. It just keeps on running, so pretty happy with her but you know I don't know if I'll do any other kind of tests but I always load the wood side to side I feel like that's better I know some guys say it's gonna bridge that way you're not gonna burn the edges I haven't I haven't come across that yeah you're gonna get more buildup on the sides but that's standard um, I feel like if you stuck stacked it this way you're gonna get them to roll yeah they're gonna roll in but you may just block the hole completely with a fresh log I mean that could happen that's why I haven't done it. The only time I throw wood in this way, lengthwise, is if I get actual logs like this. I, I'll leave them to like three feet, and I'll just fill the box with just those. And those actually, if they're dry, they burn phenomenal. I mean, so technically sometimes I'll, you can see here, this is just garbage. I'll, I will throw a couple of these in if I'm here during the day just to get rid of this stuff. I mean, a traditional boiler would love this stuff. This, this boiler, it'll burn it. It's not bad. I mean, this is all box elder. It's not very good, but I have it, so I burn it. Otherwise, I have everything is split, ready to go. So, um, I don't think I'll do another. This will be part three of the video. I won't do a part four, obviously, because it lasts a 24 hours. So, but yeah, if you guys have any questions or if you want to see me do a different type of video with this boiler, I'll probably do a couple more. I got to do one on my snow melt system, how I have this incorporated with that. I can do one with how the garages are set up. Uh, I haven't done those yet because I got two different huge heat exchangers for both garages. Um, so, yeah, I will be posting those eventually. I'll, I'll probably do a couple time lapses of the snow melt when, that, when we actually get good snow so you can see that. But other than that, I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty basic, pretty easy unit. I mean, it's pretty effortless just stir it up add wood shut the door shake the handles you know it's pretty simple clean out the ash every week clean out the bottom I do that every week as well uh, you could probably go two weeks if you wanted to I do the fan every two weeks in the back I'll pop that whole panel off I'll suck out the fly ash close it back up I know some guys don't do it for a for a whole season but I'm gonna burn this guy all summer because it does heat our domestic hot water, so I mean, I'll probably go through, you know, this much wood in a day because it's only heating that. So we'll see how that goes. If for some reason this guy can't keep burning because it does, it's not calling for heat, then I'll just shut her down in the summer. But I, I don't want to do that because we're not using any natural gas right now at all. The only natural gas we had was for the furnace and for the hot water tank, and now this does both. So, so we'll see. But uh, yeah, if you have any questions, uh, shoot me a comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos of the boiler and or me splitting wood and cutting trees and, and so on. So, But other than that, uh, keep burning.